If you've got a Ford, Volkswagen, BMW, or a Honda, and you're trying to do headlight bulb upgrades, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna need an HID bulb adapter to make it all work. Here's the problem. A lot of these cars use like an H1 or an H7 bulb where it's connected to this weird um, holder or socket that then mounts into the vehicle. So you've got your bulb and it plugs in here, and this is then what the vehicle wiring connects to. If you just took all this out and threw it away, and you got an HID kit, and you put the HID bulb in, two things are gonna happen. First, there's nothing gonna be holding the bulb in place. It won't even go in. Secondly, you're gonna have your wiring, and it's not gonna plug in anywhere. You're gonna see this and this, and they're gonna be totally different. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why you need a bulb adapter and why it doesn't work for LEDs. On this Honda S2000 headlight, the high beam is an H1 and it's held in place with a bulb adapter. You get to it by taking off the rubber dust cover. If yours has a bulb adapter, it's probably gonna be very similar to this. We're not just talking about Honda S2000s. And then there's a metal clip and the whole thing comes out. Now, if you put in your HID bulb, It'll go in there, but how does it hold on? You know, this metal clip isn't designed to hold the bulb. It's hold, designed to hold the bulb adapter. So let's use the bulb adapter and install the HID bulb. If we take this out and we try to put in the HID bulb, how does it even work? They're fundamentally different. This thing plugs in. The HID bulb has nothing to plug in. There's no way to hold it there. So what they did was these HID companies made a replacement for this piece that is specifically designed for an HID bulb. So now it's got the slot for the wiring to go through and the bulb sits in it. And this replaces this. So now we can take our HID bulb and put it in place in the headlight housing and everything goes together how it should. Put your dust cover back on, hook up all your wiring, and you're ready to go. Now, a popular thing that people are doing instead of HIDs are LED headlight bulbs. And let me explain why this type of a product won't work. Now, technically, there are some that might. On this Honda S2000, you could take the GTR Lighting Gen 3 bulb because the collar is removable, and we could put that in there and then assemble the whole thing this way. So if we put the collar in first, the bulb adapter in second, and then we insert the bulb. Well, it's not working because it's, it's hitting. To make this work, we'd actually have to modify the bulb adapter and cut down this top piece. It's just not designed for an LED bulb. Secondly, all these LED bulb companies are making the bulbs differently. The GTR lighting bulb has this little tiny adapter. This one has a metal adapter that's a little bit bigger and it doesn't come off. This one has an even larger plastic adapter that doesn't come off. So if you're gonna buy the bulb that fits your headlight, chances are it's not designed for an HID bulb adapter. Now there are a few brands out there, few and far between, that actually make H or LED bulb adapters. But you, they're, they're pretty tough to find. Generally speaking, if your car has a bulb adapter for the original halogen light bulb, you should probably get the matching bulb adapter for an HID kit. Good rule of thumb, bulb adapters equals HIDs. Now, there's all kinds of different ones out there. You know, what we're talking about here is the Honda S2000 to hold an H1, but you can get different ones for a Hyundai Genesis, a Volkswagen, a Honda. You know, all these different types are designed for H1, H7 usually type bulbs, and they're all a little bit different. So this is how you do it. Take your headlight off the car, pull it apart like we did, take your bulb adapter, and then go to our website and find all the bulb adapters. And then you can match them up. It's pretty easy. Obviously, this one's not the right one. This one's not the right one. You need one like this. And if you still need help picking out the right bulb adapter for your install, contact us, www.blacktop.racing.